it is clear that China is engaging in, in a deliberate strategy to undermine the stability of the region. It is clear the values and behaviors of the Chinese Communist Party do not align with the vast majority of states. It's good to hear from the Pentagon, and it's not a surprise, I imagine, to you, General, that um, Mark Esper decides to open up, and he's talking about China as a threat. No, absolutely. Well, first of all, I'm delighted that we're having press conferences again. I, I, I think it was a mistake to have given up on those. I, I really believe the Pentagon, just like Department of State, has to answer to the American people. And they should, on a periodic basis, do that and take questions from the press. Mm -hmm. Listen, China is clearly our number one threat out there. It's growing every single day. Economic predators, which we're very familiar about, we're constantly talking about it on, on Fox. They're also involved in the most rapid military expansion of any nation in the world. They have gone past us in terms of the number of ships in their Navy by far. They have a greater military presence in the Pacific than the United States has right now. And also, their geopolitical expansion is very significant. Strategically, they want to dominate the Western Pacific and Asia, and they eventually want to replace the United States as the preeminent power in the world. That's the trajectory that they're on. The good news is that this administration has fashioned a strategy with our allies to confront it, as opposed to wash our hands and pretend it's not real. Well, and the other thing is that the Pentagon is only one aspect of that, right? So you have the Treasury Department, the State Department, um, and the Pentagon all working in concert. The uh, Secretary also talked about North Korea, and General Dunford said that, that they are concerned about recent tests of nuclear material there. Uh, any thoughts on that part? Well, the tests, the short-range missile tests are in violation of U.N. resolutions. I think the United States should speak out on that. I understand the the possibility of, of the reason why not to, not to damage the potential for ongoing talks. But nonetheless, I, I believe in calling out the North Koreans for what they're doing. Uh, uh, secondly, uh, those short-range missiles, Dana, they, they cover all of South Korea and also Japan. And, and that's why our allies are, are so concerned about it, because these exercises were going on just recently between the U.S. and South Korea. The North Koreans normally do something to demonstrate to their adversaries, the South Koreans, the United States, that they have a significant military capability.